Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed and welcome to lecture number 4. Today we are going to create our view and we are going to create our form. So you can easily submit your form and you can easily store your data in the table. So last lecture we have discussed about the model, we have created the model and we have uh, connected or we have uh, created the instance of our model from our controller. Now I am going to comment this one. Okay, now refresh the page fine i'm saying i'm going to create a record for suppose new student st student so as you can see this is this method is not available so i have to specify the method go to the page refresh the page it's fine if i say that echo new method Refresh the page, it's fine. Okay, now what you need, you just need to load the view. I'm saying view and specify your view. I'm saying new student, new student. Make sure echo this so it will give you the error because you have you have not created the new student view yet. Okay refresh the page it, it's giving you the error now go to your view sections and right click on the view create a new view and now i'm saying the name of the view is new student so i have created a view go to the page refresh the page it's working fine and now i am saying that uh, html this is the HTML5 syntax and I'm saying welcome encoding nighter for word. Go to the page, refresh the page. Fine. Okay, now I'm going to use the helper, the form helper here, or you can also create the form like this. How many fields you need? S name subject so only you need two fields to insert your data okay now I'm saying I have this form this, this is the and and this is form and I'm saying action is this and the method is post okay now I need uh, I'm saying name student name and here I'm saying input type equals to text name equals to std and uh, placeholder uh, student name go to the page refresh the page as you can see this is the name of the student and I'm going to create another fields which is the subject so subject and now I'm saying this is the subject okay fine go to the page refresh the page subject now I need a button to submit this form now I am saying this is the button uh, add new student add student and this is the type of the button is submit and uh, you don't need to specify the class okay fine click on this it's not going to anywhere because you have to specify the action but you need to load the helper which is the URL helper or uh, I think it's automatically available on entire website I'm saying site URL site URL and now I'm saying in the students controller add user or add student so now you need to okay copy this oh, sorry save this file go to the page refresh the page 
now I'll click on this so now as you can see it's okay press the page click on this okay because this student is not available so that's why now okay why it's happening because you have to specify the base URL so copy this bad boy open your application and app.php file and paste your code here so this is your applications now press the page okay now because this is the index method you know very well whenever you access your default uh, root it will automatically execute your default controller now I'm saying students and new student so this is your form and now click on this as you can see it's giving you the error because this method is not available you have not created the method which method this method so now go to your student controller and create this method to accept your request so now I'm saying this is the class and I, I need to create this method here okay now echo this bad boy working as you can see it's saying working okay now it's fine it's working fine now how can you receive the data which is coming from your views to your controller okay encoding nighter 4 so i'm saying config and uh, services in the config and services we have a class request okay now I'm saying that uh, request now war on this go to the page refresh the page click on this as you can see it's giving you the object okay now if I say that this get post and I'm receiving this std here like this wait for a few seconds now okay if you use only the post and now I'm saying this is the data or I'm saying this is the name of the user and now I'm saying if this is a subject this is a subject and now this is the subject okay now echo this one and also the echo this one go to the page refresh the page so now it's not giving you okay now I'm saying shakesy and the subject is php click on this it's giving you the error because you have to say get post okay use the get post go to the page and refresh the page okay now it's giving you the results okay if you use the vr here fine two records is coming from your view okay now you have two records you can also use the get post get ready get cookie and get files these method i'm saying get post okay now i'm saying i have new student and this is the array because I am going to store this information in the database by using our model so now you can see uh, okay 
now i'm saying our s name is the column name and our data is this columns comma separate and now i'm saying s subject and our data is the subject you don't need to specify your inserted date because coding net are automatically uh, inserted the current time stamp okay now open the app folder sorry app.php file and find the time zone so this is the time zone it's a, by default the america and chicago you can specify your own time zone i'm saying asia and i'm saying karachi okay now close this bad boy okay now you have you are ready to go what you need you know, just need to specify your model so this is your model and now i'm saying this is my std is the model and now i'm saying i'm going to insert the model so insert so provide your new user as a parameters it will give you the current id of the users now i'm saying uh, result okay var done now go to the page i'm saying john and now i'm saying the subject is php click on this as as you can see it's giving you the one that means uh, you have successfully inserted the record in the database so this is the john and the php so now as you can see it's automatically added the field's name so as you can see this is the s date and the updated date is so this is the current time stamp so now as you can see it's a 1707 that means 508 i have just added these two values okay now what you need just need to redirect this one uh, okay now i'm saying redirect okay so redirect i'm saying redirect this to this one so students and the new student so student new student after a insert a particular record i'm saying alex new record i'm saying java click on this okay because you have to use the helper helper which helper url helper i think url helper is quite default available okay anyway i'm saying students new student try again okay now why it's not working because uh, this is the url we use this re this function or this helper you don't need to specify your helper because url helper is uh, automatically available in entire your application now i am saying redirect right redirect to specify your url i am saying that students and now the same site student new students okay now after inserting the records it will redirect you at the same page refresh the page fine i'm saying new alex john age is uh, 33 make sure 33 student so you can see go to the page refresh the page you have inserted the new records and now it's redirecting you at the same page okay you can also redirect this to a specific page make sure uh, as you can see this is your main controller you can also redirect to the controller make sure your default controller so this is the default controller uh, how can you do that just type students this now provide some informations i'm saying maria 33 click on this as you can see it's showing you the index method 
which is this index method and now here you can show your record we will discuss in a later lecture so how can you show your uh, inserted uh, record so thank you for watching